Hey, how are you? Zelly Whipping here in this um, episode of Book Summary. We will talk about the book Real Artist Don't Starve by Jeff Goins. It comes from a non-dual discovery from a professor in 1995. Um, he discovered through the archives that Michelangelo was rich. And Michelangelo always uh, always lied about his fin financial status. It was always like art was taking all of his resources and he was living the, um, the starving artist myth. But in fact, he lied about it. And in this book, we can um, talk about three themes. Mindset, market and money. And there are 12 rules. And the author here make uh, we can talk about the differences between the starving and the, the thriving artist the, uh, the starving artist think you you are born an artist the, the thriving artist know you must become one the stri the starving artist m wants to be original the thriving artist steals from his influences the striving the starving ar artist believes he has enough talent. The thriving artist apprentices from a master. The, s the starving artist is sub stubborn about everything. The thriving artist is stubborn about the writing things. The starving artist waits to be noticed. The, t the thriving artist cultivate pr patrons. The starving artist believes he can be creative anywhere. The thriving artist goes where creative work is already happening. The starving artist always works alone. The thriving artist collaborates with others. The striving artist does his work in private. The thriving artist practices in public. The starving artist works for free. The thriving artist always works for something. The, stri the starving artist sells out. Too soon, the thriving artist owns his word work the striving artist masters one craft the thriving artist masters many the starving artist despises the need for money the thriving artist makes money to make art id the the striving artist and the thriving artist are two differences in the mindset that will help you rise in the market and help you elevate your money to get your money right to make more art the, the the sole goal for the thriving artist to get more money is to make more art m better art so we can we can quote have some quote about this book some notes take the right risk creative dreams aren't launched overnight they are built gradually if you don't have to go all in don't most significant change begins with a simple state not a giant leap you are who you say you are put the title writer on your business card and email signature you have to take yourself seriously before you expect other to keep reinventing yourself art is always found on the fridges at the edge of our discomfort where true change occurs Final is overrated being able to reproduce an earlier work was not something to be ashamed of during the Renaissance. It was a point of pride. Study the great, be begin as a copycat and as a master. The creative process is done right when others are not compelled to steal from you. You've done your work when you are no longer the thief, but the one being robbed. Starving artist. Wait for the big breaks. Thriving artists become apprentices in their craft. The difference between someone who made it and someone who did not ultimately came down to two factors. Who helped them and how hard they worked. We are stubborn on vision. We are flexible on details. Jeff Bezos. In creative work, quality is subjective. We need authorities on art. We need someone to tell us Bob Dylan is a genius and this Vincent Van Gogh was ahead of his time. 
Otherwise, we are left to make such determinations on our own and we are often mistaken about who ends up being a genius. There are connoisseurs, tastemakers, who make or break a career depending on whether the, they vouch for you. We need these people to not only help us decide what good art is, but also to help us succeed at artists ourselves. Use the, your daily job pra to practice. Art costs money and there's no guarantee that your creative work will generate enough money for you to live off. Don't be out of the system. Embrace it. Nice. Location is not irrelevant. Place matters. Outposts of creativity when properly harnessed can become powerful spurs to creative work. Not every art student becomes an artist. Some become curators, community organizers and patrons. Others become collectors, dealers and auction house owners. A network is more than a team of cheerleaders. It's a diverse group of individuals who offer a set of skills and resources that help each member succeed. A network is your insurance against anonymity. The greater access you have to influential people in your field, the further your work will spread. If you want to do world changing creative work, you must reconcile the fact that you likely won't be able to do it alone. You need help. Find your brand of misfits. Use the accountability of that group and let your sense of competition drive you to create work. In order to be found, you have to be findable. Austin Cleon, show your work. The comedian Chris Work shows up unannounced in small nightclubs. He tests his new material. Sometimes it goes so poorly that people get up and leave, or they laugh at him, not with him. There is no better way to improve to put your work out there and risk rejections. You have to practice in public. When we undervalue our work, we end up playing the martyr, resenting the free jig halfway through the process. If you don't get paid, it erodes the love of your craft. Charge for your heart. It has nothing to do with money. It's a matter of taking yourself seriously and seeing others do the same. Make money to make art. Money exists in my world to buy me another season. Quote from Stephen Pressfield. I think you get it. There's a difference in mindset between a starving artist and a thriving artist. And you want to be thriving artist. Walt Disney, Kenny West, <laughs> all these artists, uh, Pablo Picasso, Michael Jackson, Beyonce, Justin Bieber, all these artists are thriving artists and you want to be a thriving artist. And there is this culture of starving artists. Do not be a part of it. If you want to change the world, if you, you want the world to know your art, if you want to be known for what you are doing and for the good you do for humanity, be a thriving artist and that's the only option you have left. So that's all for the book, for the book summary of today. Um, Real Artists Don't Starve by Jeff Goins. Once again, it's a great book. If you want, um, just check it and keep it so you can read it and take notes from it. But uh, you get the idea by this summary. Thank you for everything. Uh, we we'll see each other later. Bye-bye.